Hey guys, welcome back. Um, and we are continuing today with our topic of low back pain. Um, today I want to talk about the stuff you can do if you want to exercise but your back is just sore. So just to emphasize a point, I, I'm not saying do these things and your back pain is going to miraculously improve or don't go see a physio because this is better. It's not. If, if, if your back is sore, it's kind of like the light in the dash of your car. It's an alarm. Something's happening and you do need to go see a physio or a doctor and get checked out. But there is such a thing as non-specific low back pain and these are the people that are sore through their back and often debilitatingly sore with no reason, so no obvious injury. And if this is you, then sometimes these movements can help. Um, and if you want to be super, super safe, then ask your doctor, ask your physio if these movements are safe for you. Um, because the key with um, having a sore back, we instinctively go to stretching, but sometimes stretching can make it worse. What we want to do is movement. So movement lubricates the joints, um, it relaxes uh, your nervous system as long as it's in a safe range. So as long as you're staying in your pain-free range and you're not tugging, pulling, pushing it, then you can um, learn to manage non-specific low back pain. So get clearance if, if it's chronic especially. So what I'd like you to do is try these three movements today. Um, again, in your pain-free range, you're just sore today, you're not spasmed. Um, the first one is a, a half squat and you're just going to reach across your body. That's it. So if, it want, if you want to feel like exercise, you can squat lower and still reach and your heart rate will rise and you will feel exercised and you will get a burn in your legs, but you're just really gently turning your uh, spine, which helps lubricate the joints and relax the nerves uh, response. So the second one is a vertical up, down dog. So we go bum up, heels down. Remember pain-free range. This might be a nerve stretch for some of you. And then toes up, hips forward, look at the roof. And I'll say it again, pain-free range. This is the sort of thing I would do with a client. If they showed up with a sore back, they're obviously expecting to exercise. You can't send them home because they've paid you. But you don't want to flare them up or do anything wrong that will hurt their back. And the last one I call a ballet stretch. So you're holding on to the stem. Your outer leg is tucked over your supporting leg. And you're going hips and arm and you're just hitting a rhythm and you're only doing the range where it doesn't hurt or grab. If something feels sticky or painful or nervy, just back it off a little. Got nothing to prove. And you can mix this one up by looking at the roof for a bit, going straight and looking at the floor for a bit. See how that changes the angle in my back? So I'm just alternating floor, roof, straight. And going very, very easy, rhythmical movements. So give those a go. Um, we moved the spine then in three, in three ways, but there's obviously like 4,500 different ways of moving your back. Um, movement, the main point is though, movement, good. Stretching. Not so good for some people and I, I wouldn't stretch a sore back unless I had like a direct instruction from a physio. So try them out. Let me know how you feel and remember to send me your questions if you have more. Um, I'll talk to you next week.